muffin covering. <laughs> I was gonna say muffins. That doesn't make any sense. I, I said muffins, but there's only one muffin here. Yeah, it's singular. This feels like a whole dozen muffins. Isn't isn't plural for muffin muffi? Muffy? Muffi, yeah. Like octopi. All right, I gotta go. I'm going to the Malibu Living Party. Oh, thank God. It's almost noon, and this is Blog 263. I'm headed up north uh, to Malibu Living. There's a big party going on. I'm gonna be driving the Volt right there. It's not charged. I'm actually using the gas now. But I've been driving this car all week long, and uh, it gets 420 miles uh, total between the electric motor and the gas. Uh, I used up the electric motor, been driving a lot. I'm now using the gas motor, but I, I still have a ton left. So uh, just going up to Malibu and back is not that far. Quarter or so, Malibu Living holds these parties, and they have uh, artists come in and display their work. They bring in musicians. I think this time it's going to be a pianist. So I don't really know what to expect, but they're always fun, and those guys are hysterical. So you can't help but have a good time with them. It's a very gloomy day here in the Boo. It's actually been gloomy for the past couple of days. Rain is supposed to come in tomorrow. Everyone's preparing for it. There's no cool cars, maybe some motorcycles. Living, uh, hanging out with Gail, who's the incredible artist at this show. Uh, thank you, Malibu Living, for always having these uh, events going on. You uh, you have been an artist for quite some time. All my life. Uh, and But it didn't fully emerge until... Until I was 50. Okay. Which is like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> well, 24 years ago. Okay. And, and you, you can do the math. I can, I, well, I didn't nearly pay attention to math class oh, that okay. well, so we can I ignore that part. I know artists aren't math. <laughs> But uh, your stuff is primarily watercolor. Right. And, and what's your inspiration? You have a lot of Malibu pieces in there, and they're beautiful. Well, the inspiration in this show is, of course, the beach and Malibu. But I have different inspirations wherever I go. And uh, right now I'm working on racehorses for Santa Anita. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Are you going to do a show there? Well, I just, I'm in the Autry Museum right now. Okay. And in the Masters of the American West. And I did American Feral with cell phones and selfies all around. So I went to Paris and I went to see the Mona Lisa, and guess what? She was surrounded by cell phones and people taking selfies. Selfies with the Mona Lisa. Absolutely. That's really cool. And you know, usually, in my generation anyway, the Pope would be giving a blessing or he'd be kissing his ring or something. People weren't doing that. No, he's giving selfies. That's right. Yeah, that's because the Pope is really cool now. He's really cool. <laughs> For young artists who want to be doing what you're doing, what's some good advice you can give them? Oh, wow. There's so much advice. Well, first of all, I think whatever you decide to do is something you like to spend your time in. So it's really important that you identify the process, and it's all about process. It's not about having a show or getting it out there. It's really about how you want to spend your life. And I like creating art of anything. I mean, I'm... There's I'm, a lot of love in your pieces. Well, I mean, They're fantastic. it's all about loving what I'm doing. 
absolutely. There it is. Uh, if you if you love what you do, naturally it'll grow on its own. And, uh, and the more you give, the more it comes back. That's right. You got it. Awesome. Thank you. Words of the master. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than parties in Malibu. You gotta make me younger. <laughs> I'm gonna use the young filter. Young filter. Okay. Uh, this is Ed. Uh, he's Gail's husband. She's the real boss. That's right. You love cars. Right. In an epic way. That's right. No, I know. I know, I know you got the 427. Yeah. yeah. We might have to go for a spin later. No, no. It's, 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 it's a trailer queen. Okay. Uh, the test rose is the easiest to drive. I know. That's 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 beautiful. It's a sickness. It's a sickness. That's right. That's right. Thank you for coming. Oh, I'm, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. What are we doing here, Bill? Well, we're exhibiting art of Gail Garner Roski. It's uh, Great really the art of Malibu. It's called the Malibu PCH series. It's a series of 20 paintings from the beginning of the Malibu city to the end of the Malibu city. And why do you, why do you do this? Just to promote local people and bring in people from the community to try, you know, sort of to give back and not just take every day. This is Aubrey. She is the Malibu living expert, right? Real estate. Real estate. Do you have a favorite? A favorite artist? No, a favorite piece that she's done. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's um, the piece in the back. It's of Broad Beach. Is she saving it for you? I wish. Um, we're just here all the time at Point Doom, and we have these music and art shows Real every estate. two months. Now I'm trying to do every two are you, months. Are you cold? Uh, a little months. cold. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. All right, another successful art exhibit. Thanks to Malibu Living. Thanks guys for inviting me. I love coming up here and checking this stuff out. Amazing art this time. Very cool. I think it's gonna rain, even though it's not supposed to rain now tomorrow. Back at the pad now, um, intermittent along going to Malibu Living and hanging out with some of some serious power players. We know who the real bosses are, um, and she's building a muffin right now. Wow, that looks delicious! It look does. Those chocolate chips, man, you could they look like you could just lick them. I know, Johnny made those nicely done, <laughs> and it's Sean's birthday today. It is Sean's birthday. So I'm working on a muffin for him. All you guys, wish Sean a happy birthday right down there in the comments. Voila. Very good time today with the guys from Malibu Living. You know, it's interesting when when I go up there or just go a few places in Malibu, you never know who you're gonna run into. And in this case, there were some very, you know, important big cheese type people there. You know, the, the neat thing about cars is it brings people together, allows people to share stories and ideas uh, on a, a cohesive level where Everyone's the same. It, it doesn't really matter what kind of car it is or, or uh, where you found the car. Everybody's got that great car story. And I just love doing that. I love being able to share those ideas. A couple of cool cars in the news. Uh, actually, one motorcycle, two cars, and then our car. You know, we'll get to that. But the first one is, this is the Lazarus. It's, a, uh, it's a, a motorcycle with basically a Maserati motor in the middle of it. 
I, I don't know who would ride something like this. It's kind of like the tomahawk that Dodge did. It's just insane, it's ridiculous, but it looks super cool. And uh, if I got a chance to even sit on it, that would be awesome. But uh, the second car, uh, this one stood out for me because I, I love Morgans and uh, they always have a tremendous history and they've come out with this EV3 or they're in the process of coming out with this, this electric version. It's beautiful, it's, uh, it's just got some really great lines to it. I like that they've, they've left all the classicness there, all the open air, uh, that, uh, that English countryside feel. But at the same time, they've brought in some you know, super technology. And third uh, is this Nissan concept. Uh, Nissan has come a long way in the development of their design language. Uh, they've really uh, reinvented themselves um, uh, recently in the past few years with some of their concept cars. This has a really interesting uh, uh, levels of bisecting lines and forms, very blocky. And then finally, big thanks to Bold Ride. Uh, they did a great story on our SEMA car. We're just getting started, kind of revealing the story a little bit as to what uh, where this car came from. Started out in Detroit, made his way to Chicago, did some dastardly deeds. Uh, and then uh, and now it's ended up in our hands, so uh, we're prepping it for SEMA. Um, if you haven't had a chance to go to Bold Ride, uh, I will put a link in the show notes down below. That's it for Vlog 263. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for hanging out with us, talking cool cars, meeting great people, and uh, just enjoying yourselves. Tomorrow we got the vintage car show that we're going to, so it's going to be all cars, all crazy. Jay Leno might be there. I don't know. Anybody can show up, but one thing's for sure. Amazing cars.